Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Friday, August 19th, 2021. Well, we've had a record amount of short selling in the SLV, uh, the silver ETF. Silver commentator Ted Butler, which you may be uh, familiar with, he was the one that blew the whistle on the JP Morgan silver and gold manipulation scheme several years back that just now is being uh, has been prosecuted and they've acknowledged there's been severe manipulation. Well, he's out with a story uh, just in the last couple of days about how that SLV has a, almost a 10% short position uh, against its own shares. There's a short position in SLV and as you may know they're uh, owned by BlackRock, has a lot of influence there. And even though that's driving down the price of silver, he looks at it as a long-term bullish sign because there would not be so much pressure to short the shares of SLV unless there were large investors wanting to get their hands on physical silver. And so this is a, uh, actually a sign, it's a counterintuitive sign of the incredible demand out there for physical metal. And we also had another story about uh, Russia trying to set up a new system to compete with LBMA for metals pricing. And we know that uh, China has been purchasing around 50 tons last month uh, was transferred from Switzerland to China. So there's a lot of physical metal that's moving. Even the United States has been purchasing gold. Uh, it's not been a, a widely broadcast phenomenon, but it, quietly the U.S. has been accumulating more gold as well. So let's talk about Zimbabwe. It's a country that maybe you're not familiar with. I was there a few years ago, and when I was there, uh, people would get their paychecks, say, on a Friday, for example, and the first thing they would do is try to convert that into some other currency. They would try to convert it to dollars or it was easier for them to convert it to the South African Rand. And the reason why is the inflation rate was so high that if they didn't convert that into another currency right away, uh, they wouldn't be able to buy you know, anything by the end of that month. So uh, that was a, a picture of the hyperinflation. Now, just in the last month, the government has taken the step of introducing gold back into the reserve system in Zimbabwe. And an amazing thing has happened. The black market dealers of currency, the rate between the official uh, exchange rate and the black market rate has been cut in half since they've in reintroduced gold. And so, uh, just as it makes their local currency more secure, uh, it can also make our own finances more secure when we put ourselves on a precious metal standard simply by transferring a portion of our assets to precious metals. We'll keep you updated. Have a good weekend and thank you for tuning in.